Hi, I'm Sharon. And hi, I'm Yarnboy, better known as Rich. You are rich. Yes. Rich in humor and... And happy. Happiness and health. So mm -hmm. far, knock on wood, we're... There's no wood to knock on. We're no, sitting I know. on it, but I'm not getting off my chair. No, I'm not getting off my chair either. So, what's today? Today is <clears throat> August 22nd? No, today is August 23rd. Thursday, oh. August 23rd. Who cares when you're retired? I know, right? Who gives up? Hmm. We are a little bit behind in recording. We are a day late, but this week we went, we did, played some hooky yesterday. Mm hmm. So actually, let me just say, this is episode 209, by the way. So, tell the people what we did yesterday. We went and played mini golf. Our How son, about that? Our son took a week off um, vacation before he starts school next week. He's starting full time next week. And he wanted to play mini golf and asked us if we wanted to go and I was like, sure, we haven't played in a long time. Mm. Now so. I know why. <laughs> <laughs> we suck. <laughs> no, we did okay, I thought. So tell the people about the mini golf. The mini golf is beautiful. It's a beautiful course, very mm -hmm. hard. Yeah. A lot of the holes are up on little mounds, and the cups are very tiny. They were, the t yeah. cups were very tiny. It was a very challenging, a beautiful course, 18 yeah. beautiful holes, but. We had a lovely time. It's mm. um, in the next town over, and they have batting cages and driving range and a cute little mini golf course. And our son probably would be an amazing regular golfer. He golfed when he was a kid and did really well, but he has no interest in it now. But he really likes mini golf. Mm. And he beat us. Yes, he beat us. Oh. <laughs> he did. He beat us. Oh, it was easy. I haven't picked up a club in anything in a long time. We used to golf, fun fact. Um, I, we haven't picked up a golf club in years. How many years do you think? Four or five years? Yeah. I love to golf, but knitting kind of took over. And it just, I don't know, it just got to be, it was hard when we were working. And then last year, Rich didn't feel well, so we didn't get a chance. But, I'm thinking maybe we should get out there. Yeah, between oral surgery and a yeah. stupid hernia. I think what we're going to do next week is go and hit some balls and see at the I driving like range. And if I don't knock myself out by ricocheting one, maybe we'll go to our local course around the corner. Yeah, we just have a course around the corner, and it's, it's really basically a cow pasture. But it's fine, and you just can hit the ball around. It's, it's you know, fun. If you lose it in the weeds, who cares? Nobody I, on that course can golf worth their shit anyway. I know. And the, the carts are like... <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> will it stop? Oh, no. I don't think so. Oh, my God. It's more like, will it start? <laughs> <laughs> but golfing is, is... I grew up golfing. My parents were huge golfers, and I learned when I was a kid. And, and really enjoy it. And probably should join a ladies league. But, again, business and knitting takes a lot of my time. So it's expensive. Right? Between all the balls I lose and the clubs I fling in the woods, I mean, geez. It's not that. It's just renting the cart and the and playing the golf is expensive. It's frustrating. It's a hundred dollars for a day out. I mean, really. But th by the time you get lunch and mm. all that stuff, so. And four or five beers to drown <laughs> your sorrows. I don't know. The, the course around the corner is not that expensive. No. So we may we may take a shot at it. We'll see. So. Hmm. Our cat is over there grooming. Yes, he was just looking his, in a really sensitive spot before. He was? Yes. He. <laughs> Between his legs. Cats are, cats are known for that. I know. If men could do that, we wouldn't need wives. <laughs> oh, Tom. Not saying a word. Oh, he's cleaning nope, his he's just He's got his arms he's cleaning. Yes. He's good. So he does. He always loses cleaning himself constantly. Do you remember? We adopted him from our backyard. He ran wild in our backyard. Do you remember when you adopted him and he hadn't groomed himself? Because that's how you know that they're not doing well. Yeah. And he was a mess. Mm. And we well, he... had we brought him to a clinic and had him neutered. Brought him home and he was very like... Ugh. Well, neutered and sewed up. He was... Yeah. Ear was hanging off his... His scalp was split open. But we Ooh. actually, we gave him a bath. 
and he is strong, let me tell you. But he tolerated it, you know, he was a good boy. And ever since, he started grooming again, which is amazing. Hmm. He doesn't know how to play. He I guess know that's because he was never played with his whole life. I don't know. I mean, he, he'll play, he plays with himself. Not like <laughs> that way, but... <laughs> <laughs> and what I said was bad. <laughs> So, it's got even got a, a little cat sock. That was a rude gesture. I'm cutting that out. I know. It's got a little cat sock. No, too. he has no. a little. He has a little. He has. A... This is show is degrading right down the tubes, isn't it? Oh well. Oh my god. Then... From golf to this, he has. Yes. He has a little, like. <laughs> It's a little tube with a little feather. <laughs> it's a cat sex toy? I don't know. I mean, I'm you sorry. hear him meowing a lot in the corner. <laughs> I'm, I'm crying. sorry, Tom. We I'm don't crying. Mean... I'm sorry. All right, let's get You're, serious. We got a, this Wait is a, a short show. This will be... He does take that little cat toy and he'll play with it. And if I catch him over there with it, that he's, you know, batting it around, he's like, They're executing people down the street. <laughs> oh my yes, God. we live in a safe place. Kumpala. <laughs> you shouldn't joke about that. No, our neighbor's setting off fireworks, so I don't know how this is going to go. And I have a doctor's appointment in <laughs> 45 minutes, so we have okay, to yes, move on. Okay, yes, yeah, we had a nice right, move so, along there. So let's talk about knitting. What have you been knitting, honey? Oh. Oh, my God. What have I been The same thing I have been knitting all along. Yes, but you're getting... You know, it's slowly coming up. Look, oh, your yarn is getting soft, so. It's... Yeah, it's getting smaller. My yeah. big yarn ball. Oh, I'm in the middle of it. Oh yeah. Well, oh, you're well. a true podcaster. You're in the middle of your row. So, this okay. is the um, work work sock shawl. I'll put a link in the show notes. And. Coming along, it's getting there. It takes forever. He's knitting it. Well, you're knitting it in garter stitch, which takes longer because it, it seems to take longer because it's more compacted. But and they get longer and it takes yeah. I the guess. rows get longer. Mm -hmm. But it's coming along. It is coming along. It looks good. Awesome. That's what I'm knitting. Mm hmm And as for me, you still need to get me red thread so I can knit pork chop yes, scarf for actually, Christmas. Yes, we'll, actually, I will do that this week because look the weather has gotten better nicer it's actually almost halfway through the show and we haven't talked about the weather yet ah. I actually have a shawl on I today have a long sleeve shirt got a little cool here so let me talk about actually this shawl this is the impressionist mystery knit along shawl by Helen Stewart <clears throat> this relation is to Martha not any relation to Martha but she's very very um, crafty Oh, she's, okay. she's a knitting knitwear designer and she lives in the UK and I met her at Edinburgh and she is lovely. Oh. Mm -hmm. So this is was I? her shawl. You were probably talking to somebody else I oh. think when I, when I was in talking to her. In a corner drinking. No. <laughs> Maybe. Um, so this is my hand dyed yarn in a set that I dyed specifically for this mystery knit along. And it was a hummingbird theme. I still have one in the shop in, in Sparkle. So if you're interested in Sparkle, you can pick it up. If you want me to dye this for you, let me know. I adore it. it it's very, oh gosh, it got cold. So I'm putting it back on. <laughs> and I love it. Oh my God, this air is amazing. Well, it's windy out. It's lovely. I have the dead cat on my, <laughs> my camera. So the wind doesn't make any noise. Here, I'll take a picture of that. Oh, that thing. Okay. Yeah, that's my dead cat that I keep on my camera, so... A little behind the scenes. So anyway, um, yeah, this is great. So I have one in the shop. If you want one in the singles base, let me know, or any other bases. It would be lovely in any of my fingering bases. Okay, so what I've been knitting. I had a rough knitting week. Why? Well, 
this thing, which I want to finish so badly. You're not done with that yet? Oh, right? Exactly. Oh, well, knitting your dough. I know. So this is my Comfort Fade Cardi all bunched up because yeah. I'm in the middle of a row also. And I'm on the shawl collar, which takes forever. And what really ticks me off, actually, is that I read the pattern incorrectly. And you do short rows to shape this collar. See how this collar part is thicker? This mm -hmm. garter yeah, stitch. Obviously. So this is the collar part. And you do these short rows. Well, the directions say to repeat row such and such 13 times. And what I thought it meant was to repeat the short row on each side 13 times. So instead of doing 13 short rows, I did 26 on two repeats. I had almost knit a whole half a ball of yarn before I realized. And I looked at the collar and I'm like, this collar is huge. Why is it so big? And then I read the pattern and I was like, oh, that's why, because I messed it up. And I ripped it all out. A lot of knitting. Like, I probably ripped out over 100 yards of yarn. Wow. Yeah. That's a lot of yarn to be ripping out. I ripped out a lot of yarn. <laughs> so I started it again. And it's going fine now that I know what I'm doing. I'm, I'm famous for that, though. I have trouble with reading comprehension, <laughs> apparently. Sometimes, or I look at it too fast and think I know what I'm doing and I don't. So that was not a happy thing. But it's coming along and I would love to have it finished by next week. I don't think that's going to happen. We will see. I saw somebody that did a shawl and what the shawl had was a hood on it. Oh yeah. Which really looked cool. Yeah, I know. I would love to knit one of those. And again, I'm in the middle of the row on this project too. So this is my Matham shawl by... Helen Stewart, who designed ah. this shawl. She's a shawl designer, so of course I'm knitting her shawls. This pattern is part of the Shawl Society Season 3, I think. It is the first in the um, bundle, and it's called the Matham Shawl. And I actually, I resisted buying this ebook for the longest time. I'm like, ah, I have enough to knit. I'm not going to buy it famous last words. I finally bought it. <laughs> and I started knitting this beautiful shawl. And I'm pretty much almost done with it. I had to eliminate a couple of rows because I was going to run out of yarn. I think I eliminated four rows, but you're not going to really notice. This is all I have left. So when this is done, it's done. And it's slow because I'm work I really was working more on that uh, sweater. But what does one do when one gets frustrated with one's sweater? You either one cast... throws it out the car window. Yeah, you could do that. Or you cast on something new, or you can work on something old. So I, I actually started swatching for the Winterfell sweater, but I didn't bring that. I'll, I'll show you that next week. But I picked up a project that I haven't worked on in a while, and I'm going to show you that. Haven't you worked on in a while? So in this beautiful... Big bag. Big bag for big project. Yes, this is a big project. This is this bag is by the Fat Squirrel, Amy Beth, in this beautiful decorator fabric, nice and thick, and there are moose on this fabric. I bought this at SSK 2014, so four years old. I love this bag. It's huge. And inside... Is. is my crochet. You crocheting too? Yes. The C word, I know. I have so many things. I'm sewing. Why don't you buy a loom and start looming? Well, I'm not doing it. that. No. I was going to take a course. <laughs> I was going to take a class at SSK on, on um, weaving. And then I just, at the last minute, I emailed Laura. I'm like, no, no, take me out of that class. I need to concentrate on knitting and spinning, which I also am doing. And sewing. I sewing. What you're doing dough. Yeah, I'll talk about that in a minute. So I love this. This is just like mindless 
fun. I mean, it's fun to work on. Look how beautiful. Kind of like a shawl. I'm just keep knitting. Them yeah, it's a blanket. Knitting, knitting, knitting. Yes, it's all. It's it's so much fun. It's gonna be a lap blanket. Ooh. And isn't it beautiful? Mm. I'm gonna make you one. Mm, well, I don't need. Not in these oh, colors. These nests. <laughs> oh. I'm gonna make you one in dark colors, darker colors. The cat sits in my lap. That's okay. Who cares? That's everything. okay. He's, I don't. That doesn't bother me. We can always. This is super wash yarn. You can wash it. So this is like a modification of that granny stripe afghan. And if you want to know how I'm doing it, I'll send it to you. Donna. Donna pretty much told me how to do it because crochet is not my first craft, and so I, you know, I don't. I know how to do it, but I don't know how to follow patterns that well. But this is super easy. Um, it's fingering weight yarn, all leftovers. And this week I was organizing my leftovers, which was so fun. So inside this bag, all your leftovers. Not all of them. There's more, no. but and minis. And this would be a perfect project for Maybe. the advent calendar. Got any thing yarn that? Huh? You got anything red in there? No red. Oh. No. And you don't want to knit with fingering anyway. No. So these are these are my neutrals because I'm alternating like neutral skeins. These are some bright pinks, some yellows. I mean these are I mean actually all of the most of these are from my um so faded shawl. So yeah, I'm having a blast. I had so much fun organizing all the minis that I'm putting in here. And this would be a perfect project for the advent calendar kits that everybody is buying. And thank you if you have bought my advent calendar kit. We're going to have a huge knit along during Vlogmas. Some of you have already signed up in the group. And I've been in contact with Amba O'Brien, who has written some shawl patterns for advent calendars. And I have a sneak peek of her new shawl pattern that's coming out in November. And that would be perfect for the kit that I'm offering. So, yeah. Anyway, just a segue. You can go to my shop and purchase the advent calendar kit that I'm offering. We still have some left. And I expect that they're going to sell out. So if you want one, go to, the, go to my website. Ooh, yeah. And again, we're going to have a big knit along during vlogmas you have to use at least some of the yarn from that in your project in order to qualify for a prize but I'm giving away a free 2019 advent calendar kit to the winner wow that's pretty good yes or a sweater's worth of yarn if you don't want to wait till next year it's up to you so and I need 20 participants so yeah, that'll be fun. But there's so many there's so many patterns out there now. Um, I think Donna and I are going to be knitting the uh, Land of Sweets cowl by Helen Stewart, who designed all of this. Helen, please. I love Helen. She's amazing. I'm holding mine with mohair, and if you guys want to do that, you can buy some mohair from me. I, I'll have that available. So it's going to be a lot of fun. But you can find the advent calendar kits in my shop or. Use some of somebody else's advent calendar kit. Use some of mine if you don't, you know, want the colors to match, whatever. But the granny stripe um, blankets are really good for minis. I'm sure I'm going to be putting some of my minis in there. Okay. All right, get out what you died now. You're running out of time. What time is it? Oh, wait, we have lots of time. Oh, okay. Do, you, do your little friends have anything to say? today? Maybe. At the end. At the end. All right. So we'll wait till the end. All right. What else do I have to talk about? I don't know. All right. Let's talk about um, the giveaway. So last week did I had... Did you give anything away last I, week? I did. Oh, you giving anything? So last week's giveaway was the beautiful bag by Star Knits. It had, had like a Halloween kitty cat theme. And the winner of that bag is Elizabeth M. Congratulations. Oh, Elizabeth M. And my question was, what is the favorite, your favorite thing you've ever knit? And Elizabeth said her favorite was a Fair Isle ear flap hat for her son. 
And she hadn't been knitting very long at the time, so she was really proud of herself because it looked amazing. So that's awesome. Oh, good. I, yeah. Yeah, that's just, it, you should be proud. I know. I love that story. So Elizabeth M., contact me. You can send me an email at Sharon at KnitStyleYarns.com or you can contact me on Ravelry. My username there is Stitch Mistress. So that's that. Actually, before I do this week's giveaway, I want to show you my favorite thing I ever knit. How come you never wear it? It's very dressy. So I'll if we went out to eat at a nice restaurant, I will probably wear it. Well, Maybe we, I'll wear it to Aroma. Well, we don't anymore. We haven't been out to eat at a nice restaurant in a while, so. I, I wore it a lot when I first finished it. This is the, I think it's called the P4 top. It was designed, I believe, for, I don't know, I'll look it all up in the show notes. I'll put it down in the show notes. It's a fancy yarn. It's hand dyed fancy schmancy yarn with sparklies and silk and I love this top it fits fantastic okay we don't want to eat because we're both on diets and going out to eat doesn't do much good for your diet we're on weight watch I'm on weight watchers you're just watching and it's rough yeah, I'm watching all those 13 pounds I lost five I'm going for 25 I'd like to lose 10 I'm under 140, which is amazing, and my clothes fit a lot better, so that's pretty cool. So, to I give want, a, I want to be 175. That's what I'm rolling. I think you'd look great. You look great now. That's what I weighed when I was 30. Yeah. Cool. I've always been between 130, actually like in the high 130s. So, I've well, never been real, real thin. I've yeah. always been, you know, Just curvy. Too many martinis will do that to you. And I'm short. So. I mean, if I, was short, five, yeah. if I was five, if I was 5'7", 137 pounds would be, I'd be a stick. But I'm 5'3", ish, <laughs> two maybe, 5'2". Okay, so the giveaway this week. Very nice. I am giving away mm. a skein of yarn, which is gorgeous, in this beautiful purple, and then a coordinating mini skein. It's called Wild Iris, and it was a summer color that I did, or spring color that I did, and I'm trying to um, sell or give away items that have, have my old label on it, so it also comes with a pin. Whoa. A knit style pin. What more style could pin. you ask for? I know, right? Oh, get cute, on right? that right away. So... Yeah, so this is this is this week's giveaway, sponsored by me. <laughs> um, and in order to win, just make a comment down below on YouTube and tell me what type of knitter are you as far as what type of things do you like to make? I would classify myself as a shawl knitter. Really? Yeah. <laughs> that surprised me. I was going to say, if I asked you what kind of knitter I was, what would I you a shawl knitter. A shawl knitter. I'm a shawl knitter. I so know what if it's easy a knitter. <laughs> I am not I don't have anything at my favorite because I haven't knitted that much. Some people are like incredible sock knitters, socks, 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 that's all they knit. And I like knitting socks. They are not the main thing that I knit. Actually this project would make beautiful coffee top coffee talk socks by Tracy Miller. And I actually dyed something this week for that. It's really a beautiful color. Yeah. It's really fun. So, anyway, just tell me what nice type of knitter work. are you? Are you a sock knitter? Are you a, are you a shawl knitter? Are you a garment knitter? Okay, so that's that. Now it's time to talk about my update, which already happened. <laughs> You guys know, every Wednesday, 8 o'clock p.m., I have a shop update. So even if I don't record before that, you can go check the shop. Isn't it cute? So this is this week's bag. Black cat it's and a, pumpkin. Look how chubby they are. Aren't they chubby? Yeah, they look like scared. Tom. 
they're scared. <laughs> Their little eyes are all big. And this is the yarn that goes. And I named the yarn Familiar. What? Familiar. Oh. Like a witch's companion or a witch's familiar. Okay. Anyway, the yarn is called Familiar and it is black. It's a, it's a cat color. I've been waiting for Halloween to do a black cat color. So it is, I love this. I mean, if you want to knit a black shawl or put this in anything, black socks, I mean, why not? Hohi Locatelli has a, oh. a beautiful Hohi. Hohi, Hohi, Hohi. Hohi, stop me. She's amazing. I'm obsessed with her podcast. Yes, so Hohi. good. Hohi. What's her name? Hohi. Hohi? Hohi. Hohi. Hohi Locatelli. Hohi Locatelli. It's spelled J O J I. Okay. She's from, she's from Argentina. Oh, okay. I've told you about Hohi. Remember? We were talking about the World Cup and mm. how... Oh, yes. Yeah. Okay. Anyway. Too bad so, they lost. They did. They didn't make it. Sorry. <laughs> so anyway, Hohi has a pattern where you use like a dark color yarn and then a white. I'll put a link in the show notes. This would be beautiful for that. And I think it's adorable. And the inside is... An a pretty, a beautiful orange, like, patterny. I love it. It's very Halloween-y, isn't mm -hmm. it? Extremely much. So, we still have these available, and I expect they're going to sell out. So, if you're interested, yeah. Okay, so Tracy Miller from the Grocery Girls designed a sock pattern based on... Um, coffee and one of the segments on their show called coffee talk so the sock pattern is called coffee talk and as soon as I saw it I was itching to cast it on and <clears throat> I was chatting with her on Instagram and I said I'm gonna dye a color for coffee talk so this is it so it takes a full skein and a mini skein so I'm calling this Slutty Pumpkin Latte. Slutty Pumpkin Latte. Okay. Because this burnt orange color is one of my most popular fall colors, which is Slutty Pumpkin, which would be the coordinating skein, and then this beautiful coffee color, neutrally, it's neutral, this neutral color is, um, I guess latte. So the whole set is slutty pumpkin latte and Tracy actually bought one <laughs> when I showed the picture on Instagram last night which was so sweet of her and I'm going to send one to her for a giveaway and these are actually now sold out. They sold out last night when I posted the Instagram picture but I'm taking pre-orders for them and I'm going to be dyeing them tomorrow and they'll be out by Monday or Tuesday so technically you'll have them pretty quickly and I love them. I think they came out great. Yeah, they can. Slutty Maybe. pumpkin. They'd be great for... What? Oh, I like the color. It's so nice. I love it. Love it love. It's not for you. Go sit down. You'll get your turn later. Oh. Oh. It matches your eyelashes. Oh. You I can know. make... You know, you could make little tiny socks for oh. her. I never had socks. Oh, that would be so cute. Little socks and little mittens. Oh. <laughs> Go sit down, will you? Get out of here. Or give you to the cat. <laughs> Alright, so that's that's that one. Okay. I'm gonna put those over there for now. Oh, don't play with them. <laughs> She's being a bad girl. You got a bag full of stuff then, won't you? Yeah. So I don't know if you guys know, but Rich and I pretty much live in the backyard of Rhinebeck, New York. And I go to Rhinebeck, uh, New York State Sheep and Wool every year. Of course. Of course. And this, I always dye a Rhinebeck colorway, and this is my Rhinebeck colorway for this year. It is called Road to Rhinebeck. Ah, oh, Road to Rhinebeck. And I adore it. Look at, it's got the 
gray for the road and the beautiful blue for the Hudson River and the orange for the leaves and, and the green. green for the grass and the leaves. I I love this and gold. Isn't it a nice fall color? Yep. If fall ever comes. It's it's coming. I can feel it. So, I'll eat it one day. And one day so far it's been a little cool. So road to Rhinebeck. Yesterday was hot as you know what. It was. And today it's a little good because it's very windy today. Oh, by the way, I have the black yarn on across all my bases, so yeah. So Donna and I are going to knit the rose cardigan, and she wanted a blue color scheme. And I dyed that this weekend, and it's already gone, it's off to her, but I'm going to pop a picture in here of that. So I have those available for a pre-order, and it goes from a navy to a lighter, um, like a denim blue. So I love them. The darker, darkest color is called Prep School. The next one with orange and navy is called a nautical the third one is shipyard and the last one is faded glory and i think they'd make a beautiful um sweater beautiful rose sweater and i can't wait to see donna's so i had some i was as you do when you're dying a gradient you know i had some skeins that i just did for experiments just to see I like the color so I have these I'm gonna have these available I haven't put them up yet but I will today so I have this darker prep school color and then I have a more variegated version and then this lighter version it's very nice colors Aren't they hard to notice. it's hard to see them out here for some reason I'm having a hard time seeing the colors well the lighting I don't know if it's so bright we're today. in shade so oh. if it yeah, this color, this darker color, ranges from black to navy. I mean, it's really beautiful. So this is all on my sport base. It's my sporty base. So I'll have, I'll put those up at some point today. And that's it. And we have to go. <laughs> we still have bees. We do have bees. They still around somehow. Mm -hmm. But we got a lot of hummingbirds since they got another new oh. feed. Now we have three hummingbird feeders and they go crazy. I'm so excited. This is the first summer that we've had consistent hummingbirds come to our feeders. It's awesome. All right, so it's time for me to go to my appointment. So we're going to have to end this really fast. Sorry, you can't do your song. Uh -huh. Oh, do your song. We have time for a song. Uh, no, don't where, encourage you. Where is, your, where is um, Gordon today? Oh, I don't know. He's sleeping it off. He's sleeping it off. Gordon is the parrot. All right, I'm ready for the song. Are you going to sing a song? Okay, ready? I'm not singing, you're singing. I know. All right, well, go ahead. It's a rock and roll song. Oh. It's oh. rock, I love rock and roll. That sounds great. The Beach Boys. <gasps> Even better. Okay, ready? Yeah, okay, go ahead. Ba, 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 you got me rocking in the wood and rocking in the reason pa 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 Wait a minute. What are you from Boston? Babaran? It's Barbara Ann. <laughs> None of your sheep, it's Babaran. <laughs> go away. Oh. Well, that was a good song, but go shoot. Shoot. Say hello to Tom. Uh uh. That was an awesome song. That was really great, Pork Chop. I loved it. It was okay. Fun it's fact: Beach, <laughs> Jeez. Beach she Boys is rich. Trust them. Beach Boys are your favorite band. One of your all-time favorite bands. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Probably my favorite. Yeah, I would say. You're, Without a doubt. Yep. You saw them in person back when they were many times. Yes. Yeah. I saw him in the early 60s when yeah. Brian Wilson used to tour with him. I know. Before he decided to stay home and write songs. Brian was, Brian's coming here, but you didn't he want was. to go. 
Oh, he's here already? He's here and gone. I didn't, it was too much money. I didn't want to spend the money. Anyway, and it, it's hard for Rich to hear in a concert with the hearing. Yeah, music. the music it's, is. It's very it, hard. In fact, it would be very loud in a concert for you. Yeah. I think it would be tough. Which, and I'm not really into concerts, so. All right. I think we better go. I think we better go, too. Have a great week. And? Knit something beautiful. And have a good time. Stay healthy. And? Cheers. Cheers. Okay, we're going to have to start that again. Mm -hmm. We're going to make sure the microphone is on and plugged. I did. Oh, are you giving anything away this week? I am. A giveaway. A giveaway. And of course, I always write it down on a tiny piece of paper and then I lose it. <laughs> oh, okay. Found it. <laughs> okay. Ba, 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 da, da, da. Okay. I'm done. You're done. Gotta go. Done. Gotta run. Gotta bring some knitting with me. Mm. I might bring that crochet. Ah, oh, such a okay. big bag though.